hello YouTube. In today's video, I would like to take a moment to uh, give my thoughts on this whole proposed nerf to ruin. Now, as many people have seen from a lot of the videos I post, I play a lot of killer. However, I don't consider myself to be a great killer because I never really take the time to sweat to get down to the low ranks of killer because I don't play this game to be competitive. I play the game, have a bit of fun as killer, try and make the experience a bit fun for survivors as 8% of my games these days turn into farming as long as I get a hook on each survivor once for the barbecue stack. I've got no problem farming so they all get their points when they leave. Everyone has a good game. As you can see in this video, I'm not doing anything, I'm stood cloaked in front of the ruin, forcing the survivors to do gems from the ruin because they can't cleanse the toad. Now, like a lot of players out here, I've been playing this game for three years this Halloween. And I feel proud as a survivor that when I'm working on a gen and there's ruin and I pop that gen, I feel like I've accomplished something because of skill checks. To some they say are annoying, they're not really, you just got to hit the crates. As you can see that this team, not having any issues slashing through this ruin. And this is, I don't know if this is survival friends or not, but the point I'm trying to make is, why should these new players not have to worry about this perk or even have to take the time to get good to work through ruin and do the skill checks with the ruin changes no more great skill checks required. My sole response to the nerf, I think it's wrong. I think it's going to damage the game. More and more killers are just going to stop playing killer. And before long, there's not going to be anybody playing killer. So what I'm trying to show you guys in this video is killers. Just all stand in the corner of your map. Don't even interact with survivors. Give them a they want that easy game to the point where no doubt they'll message me out and be like, bro, why aren't you chasing us? Why aren't you playing? Because you survivors obviously want it that easy. But you don't want to have to have any learning curve to the game. You just want to be able to go in, pop your gens, probably not even take a hit from the killer. So yeah. Rip DBD, I guess. Because there's no like need to want to play a survivor anymore because there's no challenge to it I can run all four meta perks and teabag at the gate thinking I'm good when I haven't actually accomplished anything I think it's a sad sad day be sure to leave comments down below on your opinions and I will try my best to reply but as always try and keep them civil and I will have conversations with people who want to actually have a chat about the state of affairs that this game is in at the moment and please remember I'm probably an 80% survivor main so before people on here saying ah killer's getting an epic now nah, nah, baby baby killer you don't realise that you are in fact not understanding that if killers stop playing there isn't a game to play so it's a big circle of life that ends in a crapshoot for everybody. No killers, no game. And the same as if survivors stopped playing, there wouldn't be a game. But, uh, you know, peace out. Love to all of you. God bless the de developers of DVD. <laughs> and that's pretty much all she wrote.
Okay, now let's see if we can't get some feedback from these survivors to find out whether or not they enjoyed that experience. <laughs> 